Hey, we're here in uh, Dallas, Texas, the uh, Hotel Lawrence. We're here at, at the second phase of the job. Fixing a, I think it's a nine-story fire escape. Yeah. We just came from Houston, which we did a cantilever there, cantilever repair with some of the tools that we had in our RV here. Our purchase of the RV this weekend, this past uh, two days ago. Two days ago, she's already working, making money for you. Yes. And this is this is the only storage you have, except for a little bit of storage inside. That Use, uh, inside the back side here, the, uh, the bed, the uh, master suite here. Yeah. What's happening to this master suite? We're going to convert it into the storage. We're going to open it up. We're going to make a so we're going to close off that whole rear. Yeah. And that window is going to become a door. So this storage stays, right, for non-critical. Is this window going to be like this? Basically? Right. We're going to open up that window so it's more, so bigger boxes can go in. Yeah. So this, this is going to be, uh, you know, non-essential stuff down underneath here, such as paint and blue tarps and stuff. So this stays for non-essential stuff and then that window becomes a bigger door as far as it can go so that you can get stuff inside yep. so you can load black boxes that don't fit here and that whole rear bedroom is getting uh, closed off and then the rest of it is there's a bedroom up above and what are you doing in, in, the, in this existing bedroom? You're putting a, a loft up above? Yeah, loft, yeah. This side up here. yeah so the same loft that's in the front nose of this yep. Loft bed, we're gonna make double bunk beds behind here for men if we go four to six guys in this camper. Yeah, so this is like a pretty long one, so. But great, all right, so what else are we doing here? What we're doing today is actually, since we got here to uh, Dallas. As you can Today's see, Saturday. Today is Saturday, uh, eight o'clock, 8 p.m. Yeah. Okay. Pretty much. And we just uh, got all our tools into a U-Haul truck. Because we went to a storage facility and got all our stuff. This is our supplies of, this is our Dallas supplies, Dallas right? Supply, yeah. Okay. Which we ran phase one of of the of this project in yeah. July, beginning of July, July kind of thing. July, June, July. June, July kind of thing. Yeah. Originally we were going to get a, uh, a, to uh, a trailer. A trailer, but we walked into U-Haul and we figured out that the expense was a little cheaper. A little, so the trailers were $29 a yeah. day. 29, and this was 19 yeah. bucks a day? So you can get, for, for $29 a day, you can get a truck for $29 a day. Yeah. Uh, for 14 foot. We got the 17 foot for the, for, uh, we got the 17 footer for the 14 foot price. So we've got this trailer for 20, buck, uh, for 20 bucks a day. I mean this truck for 20 bucks a day. Sure. With 100 free miles. And because it's not going to go anywhere, it's really going to stay here. We're not going to really cook up the miles on this thing. That's really where they make their money. Yeah. So we found that that the U-Hauls are actually going to come in cheaper than Ryder once you get there. So you get there by we're using the, 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 the van to get all the people there in long haul, 1,000 mile journeys, 500 mile journeys. And then once you get there, you find a local U-Haul and for 20 bucks a day, this is going to be the workstation that you can close every day and work out of here every day. So the setup and the shutdown time is where you're going to make your money. Because once you set up here, you're golden, right? It's a movable storage. Uh, it's a movable and it, once we're working, we can actually use this to go to Home Depot and get stuff at night exactly. or whatever. Now, was question earlier. I have the question how we're going to get to Home Depot. Emergency. With this thing, it's kind of hard. To do. So this is where everybody sleeps. Four guys are going to sleep here. We have an office in there, shower, um, beds, uh, kitchen. Yeah. So our office is going to run here. We have AC. We have everything we need. We have a self-contained. We have a generator going on. That's what you hear in the background. Yeah. All right. So, so now what's your what's your intention to do here? Intention is to get all the tools, gather them all, organize it, uh, see what we have, what we don't have, and uh, just organize a lot better. Hopefully, we get some light in here. Yeah, they usually have lights in the back of these things. You know, truck lights, yeah. I mean, two months ago, I know I bought a good amount of tools, but I just want to look at everything what I have. And, uh, so you're gonna set it up out here. Set up so we're gonna set up all the. We got to set up all the gray boxes, and we bought extra gray boxes, right? Yeah. So we're gonna set up everything out here, only to take everything that's out here and confirm and strip tools and get like things with like things, right? Electrical with electrical, yeah. paint with paint, hand tools with hand tools, because we kind of left. Dallas the last time in a rush so we kind of left the pile so you have to reset and today 
it's Saturday and we're going to be resetting for Monday, so we still got a whole full day. We're going to do the best we can today and most likely uh, as soon as we do this part, rest up and then tomorrow if there's a Home Depot run or a Staples run, it's tomorrow. But tomorrow's our rest day and uh, we need to get uh, food, we need to go possible Home Depot and a possible uh, Staples for certain things. But sometimes the, the Walmart will get all those above, right? Yeah. We can get our food, our uh, some of our... Um, things that we need for the office out of, out of Walmart and the only thing we need to do is hit Home Depot for the paint and I believe we have everything we're going to need for this project so we should be good for tomorrow to really rest up for a good start on Monday because we start fresh at 7. So your intention is to be here at the site that's why we have the camper so we want to get an early start and a late finish every day 7 to 7 kind of mentality um, and these U-Haul trucks are going to be basically our station so it's a pretty big, pretty big U-Haul truck. So we're going to save some money because every time you arrive at a site, you didn't put any miles driving one of these to a job site. There's U-Hauls everywhere in the United States, so you pick these babies up, right? So good for what, 10 days? I got this for 14, 14 days. days, and even if you return it, you forfeit those days, but it's for 20 bucks a day, you know. Uh, it's better to have extra days than to lose days and have to, you know, and have to do a whole new contract. So let's see what this is going to look like. So this is a tape one of what really is basically a, a, a treasure hunt. Let's see what we got, right?